Goldus kissed Johnson again during their match at King of the Ring 1998, angering Ahmed even further to the point where he began hitting Goldus for real. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he thought it was going to be funny to put his lips on my lips. <laughs> and I didn't think that was very funny. Hmm. So the last few moments when you see him not fighting back, there's a reason for that. But this Bro, he was beaten. I told you. I said it. I said it. He was beating the hell out of him. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 craziest wrestling pranks caught on camera. Very interested to see some of these pranks. Maybe I did witness it back in the day or whenever it did happen. Didn't realize it was a prank or whatnot. But this should be interesting, man. Looking forward to checking this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. We're gonna get right into this one, man. Is this song? Ribs and pranks were once a staple of pro wrestling culture. And while mm -hmm. they're less common in modern times, there exist some legendary stories of wrestlers playing jokes on each other. <laughs> Thank you to everybody here. And, oh. <laughs> I think I've seen These that ribs one. were usually played backstage or on the road, but today <laughs> we're focusing on the ones that you either got to see or witness the after effects of on screen as we highlight 10 hilarious That's pranks dope. paid on wrestlers. The mystique and serious nature of the Undertaker's character has seen countless wrestlers try and make the dead man break character. I know that you like hoes. <laughs> Go somewhere for a little vacation. That right there will make you quit being so upset. Bro, and here's the thing. That was always the thing to try to get him to break, to try to get him to break character. And, and The Undertaker was always one of those individuals that just stayed true to his character. So that was like a bit for them in the back to like, I'm going to try to break The Undertaker tonight. <laughs> yeah, you hear me? From trying to get Taker to do the spin of Rooney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is this is where he <laughs> tore another quad. <laughs> that would have been crazy if he would have tore his one of his quads trying to do a spin a Rooney. <laughs> to the rock creating the people's elbow in an attempt to make the phenom laugh. I believe the first time Rock did the people's elbow was in a match where we were trying to make Taker crack. I always thought that was the hokiest thing ever, but iconic, right? And always to get me to laugh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and, take his hatred of and then he kicked him. A classic. Cucumbers has also left him open to some funny pranks. Cool as cucumber. <laughs> I, I hate cucumbers. The Undertaker throw up all over a lava house because there was a cucumber floating in his eyes too. Which is so crazy that he, he hates the sight of cucumbers. It makes him physically sick. So if you ever want to stop the Undertaker and he's after you, pull out the deadly cucumber and he'll stop in his tracks. <laughs> but one of the best ribs played on Taker was executed by Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, we've seen this one. Yeah, he gave him a kiss. <laughs> he, he got the hell up out of there. Austin is a wrestler who loves a good rib. An example of a prank he played happened during a match versus Shawn Michaels at a live event from Kuwait in May of 1996. Instead of his usual all black attire, Austin opted to wear neon pink wrist tape and armbands that he borrowed from Bret Hart. He put it over. He smiled a couple times. But <laughs> Shawn's got that long hair, so he was able to uh, cover his uh, mannerisms up. But I popped him pretty good. But it was just a rib. It was a surreal look for Stone Cold, but that's why it made for such a that's, funny rib. That's Since funny. Austin rocked the pink in order to try and make Michaels and referee Earl Hebner laugh. Ahmed Johnson was a foul-tempered wrestler who got a lot of heat during his time with the WWF due to his bad attitude and recklessness in the ring. Forget to kill me! I'm a gang member, baby! Remember that! Goldust, knowing Johnson was easy to rile up, decided to rib Ahmed during a segment where Goldust resuscitated Ahmed Whoa. after he'd been knocked out. Goldust was meant to put his hand over Johnson's mouth when administering CPR, but instead of kissing his own hand, Goldust lip-locked Ahmed for real. Bro, this nigga is wild, bro. Nigga would've... I would've woke up. What the hell? I'm fine! Get this motherfucker off me! What you doing? That's first aid. He's saving his life. Ahmed was scripted to then get angry and go on a rampage looking for Goldust. What? What? Nah, nah, he was nah, he was really trying to find him down there. 
it just wouldn't script it no more. <laughs> attacking Bob Holly and a cameraman. Based on the incident that had just occurred, there was no doubt some real life frustration mixed in during Ahmed's tirade. Goldust kissed Johnson again during their match at King of the Ring 1998, angering Ahmed even further to the point where he began hitting Goldust for real. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he thought it was gonna be funny to put his lips on my lips. And I didn't think that was very funny. So the last few moments when you see him not fighting back, there's a reason for that. But this Bro, he was beaten. I told you. I said it. I said it. He was beating the hell out of him. Damn. This wasn't the only incident where Goldus decided to get intimate with his opponent as he played a similar rib on The Undertaker. And I grabbed my hand like this and I put it right on his dick. <laughs> and I'm just rubbing right there and I'm making these faces all sexual like. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? The Undertaker's going to kill me after this. And he's looking for me. God damn it. He's cussing. He's throwing shit. And Bruce had. Nah, bro. Hey, go. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Hey, that's. Hey, man. I, hey, that's too, too far. Yo. Nah, he had to. I just would have woke up and started punching him, bro. Fuck this. I had to calm him down and say that was me. You know, I I told Dustin to do that. That's that was a rib. And go up to his typical tactics now. Mark Henry was another wrestler with a hot-headed mm -hmm. temper that made him a target for pranks during his early days in WWF. Oh, 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 lady, you Henry would later learn how to better control himself as he grew wiser to the business, but there was always still a chance he could burst uh, out if sent over the edge. Uh -oh. We're not gonna talk about how. We're not gonna talk about how low-key racist that was. What we just saw in the ring, but. We'll leave it alone. Do you want to rest? And this is exactly what happened during an off-air segment on SmackDown in 2011. The world's strongest man was told he would be facing Sin Cara in a dark match after the show. Henry waited in the ring but soon became impatient since his opponent was nowhere to be seen. With no sign of Sin Cara, Tony Chimmel was told to get on the mic and thank the fans for coming. Meanwhile, Henry was still waiting in the ring, becoming more and more enraged. You got one more match left and you rest? Uh -oh. Eventually, Mark returned to the backstage area to confront whoever was at the gorilla position. Only no one was there. Henry began destroying anything he could get his hands on. Absolutely furious over the prank that had just been played uh... on him, Vince McMahon and other key backstage personnel had orchestrated the rib so that they could beat the traffic while the fans were still in the building, seemingly uh... awaiting the post-show dark match. Henry felt disrespected by the rib. It upset him so much that he attempted to hit the company, only for McMahon to talk him out of it. Obviously, you don't respect me. Damn. You, and you damn sure don't fear me, so we don't need to talk no more. Vince showed Henry the video of him destroying the backstage area, saying that if Mark could be this version of himself on television, it would be a guaranteed hit. This proved to be true as Henry began his Hall of Pain run, which ended up being the best work of his career. That's, I, I get what he's saying, but that's a weird way to motivate someone by just sitting up there, yeah, you're gonna have a dark match, and then everybody fucking leave. And then no one's back there. They just played you. That's a weird way to get to get someone to show you know a different side of them, a, a potential new side of them, character-wise on television. Damn, that's it's kind of fucked up. Damn. Oh my god! World's strongest. Shout out to Mark Henry, man. All of which came about thanks to an elaborate practical joke. Vince McMahon ribbing his wrestlers is a common theme of this oh, yeah. list, since few could get away with playing a rib on TV other than the boss. Or better mm -hmm. yet, a pay-per-view, as McMahon would fool Edge ahead of his hair versus hair match against Kurt Angle at Judgment Day 2002. It was always intended for Angle to lose the match, since he was naturally balding. However, mm -hmm. Vince coerced Angle into making Edge think he was the one that was going to be losing his hair oh. instead. And he goes, Vince. My head's kind of fucked up. I have a bunch of bumps and stuff. I don't think I'm going to look good bald. And Ben said, too bad. You're getting your head shaved. Vince oh. kept the ruse up until right before Angle and Edge went out for them. Wow. Edge was relieved that he wouldn't be shaved bald. But the fact that he was told about the decision last minute meant that... Bro, that's messed up, bro. Vince is he... That's what you can do when you... <laughs> You got all this money. <laughs> you just be an asshole, bro. Edge didn't have time to figure out how to use the clippers, meaning Angle's scalp took quite a pasting during the haircut. Yeah. Wow. So he didn't even have a chance to actually practice with it. So he was, he was just messing my boys. 
Boy, hair up. Just messing his hair up. Oh. Next, we have a Vince rib that played out on television. It occurred on the December 21st SmackDown from 2010. Big Show came to the ring dressed as Santa, of bearing course. gifts for the audience. Show got into the ring and went to sit down to read a Christmas story to the crowd. But as soon as Show sat in the seat, the chair collapsed, sending the world's largest athlete to the ground. What? Go in there and help him up. Cheer Santa Claus has gained a little bit of weight this year. One might think Show's weight forced the chair to crumble under the immense pressure. However, Vince ensured the chair was gimmicked ahead of time so oh. that when Show went to sit in it, it would give way. Former WWE writer Freddie wow. Prince Jr. revealed Vince's plan for this segment on the wrestling Vince is an ass, bro. Big Show was going to sit in when he was going to read a Santa Claus story was going to break when he sat in it. And I was just like, oh, Jesus. He's like, and you better not friggin' tell him. Like, what am wow. I going to do? I told Big Show. And Big Show didn't care. He was like, I'll play it off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, okay. For his Shout to him, like... <laughs> I already knew, man. <laughs> Shout out to him, letting him know ahead of time. Like, I'm, I'll play it off, bro. He's on other wrestlers, including the time he crapped in Sable's bag and when he cut Michael Hayes' ponytail off during the plane ride from hell and then nailed oh. it to the locker room door the next night. Waltman would be the victim of a famous rib where his eyebrows were shaved off by Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hedick. Waltman had to pose for promotional <laughs> photos shortly after, one of which ended up being featured in the packaging of his action so video. Cool. Waltman continued to wrestle on television as the one, two, three kid while his eyebrows were still growing back which made for quite a funny look yeah look at this kid and this is a chance of a lifetime for me wow god i'm just so nervous i can't even talk next we have a rib where sean waltman was the one dishing out the dirt as sunny was seeping on the receiving end of two of the most disgusting ribs in wrestling history uh -oh. all thanks to sean one of which was the time waltman defecated in her food on a european tour it's also widely believed that waltman took a dump in another rib that involved sunny on an episode of wwf Why? superstars from the summer of 1996 sunny would be that? cornered by the godwins phineas proceeded to dunk a bucket of their signature slop over the head of Sonny. Sonny has been slopped. <laughs> Was that Vince? Sonny has been slopped. <laughs> The slop was usually a mix of different foods gathered together from catering. However, on this occasion, only half the slop came from catering, while the other half came from other wrestlers in the locker room. They donated to the slop with spit, pee, and supposedly feces, courtesy of Sean Waltman. I even had to... That's... Nah, that's not... That's not funny, bro. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. What? That's not a prank no more. That... Not... This, I don't even know mentally where I would be at if I knew what was in that. Like, nah, bro. As a lady, happen, that's happening to a lady too? Nah, bro. I, I don't even know. At that point, you may have to file some charges or something. But once again, this is back in the day, so it was different. They... Definitely treated uh, women wrestlers way differently back then, but male or female that that that's happening to you, nah. You gotta see me, dead ass. Fuck my wrestling career. You gotta see me. I had to pour a little bit out because I couldn't carry it to the ring. X Pac and Razor and Doctor Tom had put some stuff in the bucket. I don't know exactly what it was. Oh, this was done as a way to it. get back at Sunny, who had heat with many of the boys throughout her time in the Damn. WWF due to her Jezebel-like behavior and personality. You having that much heat where people were willing to spit and piss in a bucket to humiliate you? You gotta have some major heat. You gotta be pissing some people off. That's the only way I can see someone really doing that. Still kind of fucked up, but once again, I don't know how bad she pissed them off. Maybe it was to the point where they said, we've had enough, we're going to teach her a lesson, but it's still disgusting. Waltman is also said to have once taken a dump in Mark Henry's Subway sandwich. However, it's not known for sure if Henry Whoa. ate it or not. Although some... BS straight from the mouth of the man. No one ever put S in my food. Can't believe all you hear. I, I would hope not, bro. That's like I said, bro. You, you just going to have to see me and I'm going to hurt you. Like, nah. Like, it's going to be a street fight match. Any weapon is legal. Reports suggest that any little weapon. One more poop related rib, although it backfired hilariously. Vince McMahon is a sucker for toilet humor, so this makes it even funnier that he was on the receiving end of a bathroom joke he instigated. <laughs> <laughs>
It went down right before Vince was set to go out for a promo segment on Raw. McMahon wanted a mess with Gerald Briscoe in the gorilla position. Vince did this by attempting to make Jerry puke by farting next to him, since Briscoe is known for having a weak stomach. Vince did the deed which left Briscoe dry heaving. <laughs> But there was a bit more than just gas that came out of McMahon's backside. Vince had shot it in his pants Whoa. and there was no time to clean up the mess as he had to go out for his promo. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I have to go to the Vince was forced to walk to the ring with a stain on his pants that the camera crew didn't dare shoot in fear of the consequences. <laughs> the gym <laughs> Oh, how poetic. I never knew about this. That's crazy. Build this story on a podcast in 2014. He sharded. He's wearing khakis and he's got a brown stain. Nobody had the balls in the truck to shoot it. Vince responded on an episode of Raw by telling his announcers to take shots at JR on commentary. McMahon is oh, no wow. Damn. Strangers to making fun of JR. Jim has continually yeah. been mocked and ridiculed on the air by Vince. Yeah. Don't call, don't call, don't call. <laughs> Most, if not all, of these jokes came across as more nasty than funny. Yeah. I want to show you these photographs right now. JR, oh, I think, needs a tan. A little bit of ribs to live by. Only gonna love this one. Yeah. But we'll highlight them as our last example, just to show you the lengths Vince has gone to to mock JR on television, such as when JR was made to kiss Vince's ass. Mm -hmm. Kiss his ass! Yeah, oh I remember gosh. that one. Or the infamous Dr. Haney skit, which was one of the worst segments WWE has ever produced. It begs the question, why would Vince intentionally create bad television to make a joke that only he thinks is funny? Mm -hmm. It wasn't business and it wasn't funny. So why did we do it? And it made my wife cry, so it pissed me off. If it yeah. meant ridiculing JR, Vince had no qualms about airing yeah. it. Whoa. Now, if you enjoyed this video... That's crazy. I remember watching that. I remember watching that. And I didn't, you know, I obviously thought that was planned, but apparently Vince draft JR to SmackDown without even telling him. I remember watching this. <laughs> and... I'm thinking it's part of the show, so he's selling, like, the surprise. Well, no, he legit drafted that nigga to SmackDown without even telling the guy. Bombs about airing it. Whoa. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video. On yeah, the man. Vince, I don't really think he truly appreciated JR. And some of the stuff and skits and stuff they had him doing was it wasn't funny. It, it 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 just wasn't funny. Me personally, seeing some of the stuff, like it's just it's not funny. So, but that's Vince. He has a sick, <laughs> sick sense of humor, man. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys know some of these pranks that was on this video? A lot of these I didn't know, especially the whole piss and puke in the bucket and dumping it on Sunny. I definitely didn't know nothing about that. Uh, but let me know down below if you knew about a lot of these pranks uh, or did you watch these segments or situations happen live and you didn't even realize it was a prank. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. You guys, shown on channel Road to 150K and I'm still young, speedy. You're the wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.